welcome to another episode of Fully Charged, coming to you today from about 3,000 feet above Westminster in central London. I'm just dropping in to find out what the government is doing about the future of energy. We've heard a lot about energy efficiency in our homes and about insulating them, about solar panels on the roof, but this sort of equipment is very expensive. So I've come here today to find out how the government are going to help us pay for it. Hello, David. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet, you. Meet, you. Hi. to meet you. Now, the Green Deal, as far as I can understand it, is a way for the, the government to kind of encourage us to find ways to waste less energy in our homes. Is that right? I mean, essentially, the Green Deal is a way of paying for home improvements like insulation through the savings that you make on your energy bills. You say you want to, you're going to have a new front door because your old one leaks and it blows open when it's windy. You, you, to have the new one fitted, you don't actually have to pay there and then the full amount for that door at, on the day it's fitted. That can be fed into your energy bill so you cover it over a longer time. That's, 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 right. that's, that's exactly right. right. And uh, some things will fully pay for themselves, some things will partly pay for themselves. It all depends on what you have done, what your home is like at the moment. Yeah. I like the, the idea of the balance so that you, you effectively borrow as much money as you'll save <laughs> it's a hard one to explain, isn't it? But, but if, you're, if you're a, your, your fuel bill goes down by, say, let's say £20 a month, yeah. and you're paying back £19 a month, yeah. that means you're doing very well. I mean, your house has improved, and you're not paying any more on your bills, and you're saving using much a pound less a month. energy. Yeah, yes. and yeah. you're saving a pound a month. Yeah. That's, that's exactly the idea. Obviously, the government uh, can't guarantee that you will definitely save money, because after all, if you insulate your home nice and warm, uh, whack the heating up to full blast and left all the windows open in the winter, you're probably not going to save money. But, if you, but the idea is that if you carried on you know, using your home in more or less the same way yeah. uh, that you use it now, then you would uh, save money. You certainly wouldn't be worse off. This isn't like a government grant scheme then in that sense. Or can, can you actually apply for actual money that will actually pay for, say, a new front door and new windows in your house? Um, um, so those things that pay for themselves, rather than the government paying for them, uh, we can just pay for those as individual citizens through our energy bills. There's still no upfront cost for those things but then there are other things uh, which make very good sense for society as a whole to do so uh, for example if you live in an old house maybe a Victorian house or something you won't be able to have uh, a sort of cheaper form of insulation known as cavity wall insulation which you can put in more modern houses you have to have a slightly more expensive form of insulation those things they may not pay for themselves and so there is money available from the government uh, to help you do that and what, and what areas of, of uh, sort of modern energy technology does it cover I mean could could you pay for solar panels with, uh, with the same system uh, uh, potentially you could pay for solar panels with the same system. Um, there's just a few checks in there to make sure that you're not ending up getting lots of different types of uh, benefit. Right. But uh, it covers, I think there's about more than 40 things that you could potentially do that way. Right, so, so it's actually, not just it's not just right. insulation, but it's things that relate to saving energy in the home uh, right. or indeed in the office. I've, I suppose I'm sort of assuming everyone's already double insulated their lofts and their walls, but there's still a lot of properties that haven't had that done. Um, so there's almost no properties left that don't have loft insulation, at least of some form, and that's we've been successful. But there are lots and lots of, uh, of homes that don't have other types of insulation. So almost all of our older, Victor uh, older stock uh, so lots of Victorian homes, that, that, that kind of era. Um, very, very few, almost none of those have had their walls properly insulated. That would make a, a, a big difference. Um, there's still um, plenty of homes that could benefit from having uh, more double glazing. I think about, I can't remember the exact figures, something like 80% have got at least some double glazing, but many don't have full a double glazing and then uh, in terms of things you know people probably don't even think how leaky their front door is so you're in your house and you've got your leaky front door and your boilers broken and your windows are rubbishy old single glazed units and you want to do something so what would be the first step would you get a, a an advisor to your house to that's right look? that's right the, the government set up a, an accreditation scheme so uh, you'll get an accredited advisor who really knows their stuff to come around and uh, look at your home talk to you about uh, how you use your energy and then work out if you'd benefit from having a green deal. And importantly, we should have said, uh, if, if you move house, then you don't need to keep paying for that. The new person who moves in, they will then take they, on they the They take payments. over the whole so you contract. Only, you only pay for the benefits that you're getting while you're getting the benefits of them. That's right. one of the key things that's new about this way of doing it. And when does the, the scheme actually launch? There are no Green Deal providers as yet. They will come into existence and be able to start some work as of the 1st of October uh, this year. 
but um, the full scheme doesn't get going until the end of January right. uh, next, next year. So there are some things that, that can be done in between October and January, but the full scheme gets going as of the end of January 2013. And that's nationwide? That's nationwide. But I think a lot of people are not aware of is that it's part of a sort of a Europe-wide strategy. It's not just this country sort of acting alone. Is it? That's right. So this is a, this is a core part of trying to uh, save save energy you know if we can make big inroads in saving energy there we can make big inroads in tackling uh, in tackling climate change and that's part of a europe-wide indeed worldwide uh, plan to reduce greenhouse gases going into into the environment so we now know that the government is committed to reducing our carbon emissions by 80 percent by 2050 so the obvious thing to do is go to durham join us next time on fully charged when i'll be finding out all about the customer-led network revolution 